Metaflanger by Waves is a plugin that can produce a variety of effects such as traditional analog flanging, vintage phaser emulation, classic tape flanging, and some other very creative and useful effects. In this example, the plugin is configured as an insert where the mix percent controls the wet dry balance between the original and the affected signal. Let's go over the controls and then check out some of the great factory presets. On the far left of the plugin window, you will find the wet dry mix controls and a phase reverse button next to them for reversing the phase of the wet signal. This can make the effect more dramatic. Click and drag up and down to change the wet dry mix or click in the field and type a value. The feedback setting controls the amount of delay output to be fed back into the delay's input. 50% means 50% of the wet signal is fed back to the input. Raising the feedback percentage will always increase the effect, but be careful of its ability to become very loud and potentially dangerous to your monitor system. Next to the feedback control is the phase button. Inverting the phase of the wet signal will intensify and complicate the signal with a little feedback dialed in. Below the feedback control is the high or low pass filter for the wet signal. This is very useful for applying chorus to a bass guitar. Set the filter to high pass and set the frequency to 1 or 2 kHz, and the chorus will not affect the lower frequencies and allow the retention of a full low end tone. The low pass filter can be used to simulate vintage stomp box style flangers and phasers. The delay time is limited from between 0 and 50 milliseconds in tenth of a millisecond increments. Click and drag up or down to adjust or click and type in the desired value in milliseconds. The rate controls the frequency of the low frequency oscillator in hertz. Increasing the rate value will increase oscillation speed. You can click and type in the frequency value or drag up and down with the mouse to change the rate. Depth controls the width that the wet signal is shifted in time, and this results in small pitch changes. It is measured in percents, and when the delay time equals 10 milliseconds, the depth will equal 50%. To hear the effect of depth, there must be some delay time and mix percentage dialed in for audible results. Let's adjust it on a track, for example. The rate and depth link button, when selected, keeps the pitch variation the same, no matter what value you use for the rate control. The button lights up green when active, and when so, changing rate or depth will change the other's value to keep the relationship between the two constant. If you don't have them linked and you increase the rate, the pitch variation will increase by Doppler effect. The next section contains the waveform, modulation, and stereo controls. The waveform allows the selection of sine or triangle low frequency oscillator modulation. Triangle wave has only two pitches, while the sine wave produces a smooth variation from high to low pitch. Sine wave is the default setting and more widely used for modulation, but make sure to experiment with all of the controls to find your own arsenal of mixing tools. The modulation display graphically represents how the low frequency oscillator parameters change when you alter the rate and depth settings. The stop button for modulation freezes the modulator wherever it is when you click it. This button can be automated for flanging a very specific moment in time for your mix. The stereo image range is from 0 to 180. This controls the phase between the left and right low frequency oscillators. If it is set to 180, then the left side is flanging down while the right is flanging up. Make sure to experiment with lower values for creation of stereo swirls and nice chorus style effects. Check out the Mutron Biphase factory preset to see an example of this. To adjust the stereo field, click and drag your mouse from side to side or merely click in the field and type in a specific value between 0 and 180. The last section to cover is the output fader and stereo meters, if stereo instance is used. 
Make sure to monitor these level indicators while using Metaflanger, since high feedback settings can increase the level of the affected track considerably. Make sure to lower the output fader if you see overs in the peak indicators. Digital clipping is not pleasant, and carefully avoiding it can yield very good sounding tracks and mixes. Let's load some presets to get an idea of the different settings that Metaflanger can perform. Metaflanger by Waves is extremely useful to create short delay and modulation effects that can make a mix specially memorable. It can also emulate classic effects such as tape flange, like Led Zeppelin drum sounds, etc. Make sure to save your modified presets and settings you may build from scratch for later use. Also, if you're the type that doesn't like to read the manuals for software, go against your gut and check out some of the Waves user guides for your plugins, as there is a wealth of helpful information to be found there.